Alongside Havelina head men's basketball coach Johnny Estelle, I'm Mark and Sarah for Havelina Athletics. And coach, the uh, Survivor Advance portion season is finally here. The LAC tournament starts for you guys on Thursday. Te- your team is in as a sixth seed. How excited, how ready is your team for this opportunity? Well, I think they're very fired up. You know, I think that we're trying to get healthy. You know, we kind of took a little bumps and bruises there down this last trip in the last two weeks of the season. But I think they're getting healthy. Uh, man, our, our trainer Chase is doing a great job trying to keep these guys afloat. And um, we have some unexpected injuries, but I think they're healing. Um, they're fired up. They had great spirit today in workout. Um, they're focused. You know, uh, Angelo State is a big time uh, a team. They're playing probably better than anybody in the conference besides probably West Texas and Commerce. But they're doing a really good job. So we're gonna have a hands full. You guys obviously played Angelo twice this year. One of the themes in those games is they seem to get to the free throw line a lot both times they played you guys. What is it that your team needs to do differently to try and make sure that that problem doesn't occur on Thursday? I mean, hopefully Mark not foul. I mean, you know, they've got 40 more opportunities at the line than we've had the last couple of times, so hopefully we can cut that down a little bit. Um, I went and watched a little film today. You know, as a staff, we watched film. And, you know, we, we played them good. We played them tough. They have a really good team, you know, well-coached guys. they got good pieces. They're about as deep as we are. Um, and they got good length and athleticism. they got some shooters, guys that can create after balance. So they create a little issue for you. Um, offensively, but also on the board. So you, we're going to have to be ready. You know, it's a, it's a good challenge, physical challenge, and it's going to have to be one of those things that you're going to have to do over and over consistently throughout the game because they're not going to quit and, you know, we're not going to quit. So it's going to be a good battle. You mentioned the depth that you've you've fostered on this Havilena team. Does that give you an advantage at this late point in the season, knowing that guys have let you have – less mileage on your players you needed if you had guys who were consistently playing 35 or 40 minutes a night? Well, that's the plan. You know, when you put together a team, you know, you got to put it together certain ways. You know, I always played a lot of people, even back in my days at Navarro College. We always played 11 or 12 guys a night, you know. Um, it helps you recruiting-wise because it gives a lot of guys opportunity to play and, you know, get to, uh, uh, get, to get on the floor and, and, and help the team win. But, you know, at this time of year, you're right, there are some dead legs. There are some teams that I think they can win that first night and play that first night. Then that second night, it becomes more of a challenge. Then when you get to championship level, you know, you may not have a lot left. So we're just trying to make sure we take care of every possession by possession first and foremost. Then we'll go to minute by minute. Then we'll go half by half. Then hopefully we can go game to game. So, you know, we got a big challenge in front of us. And our depth does give us an opportunity to play uh, you know, in, deep into our bench where we don't lose much. So we just got to be ready. All right, well, Coach, we'll see you in Frisco. Best of luck. Thanks for the time. Hey, thanks a lot, Mark.